Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. A new Nintendo Direct Mini has just been revealed for tomorrow. We're going to be talking about how this implicates the latest Pokemon news and what we can expect to see in the next few weeks for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We also have some new rumors to go over for the Generation 9 games. Plenty of stuff to talk about, so if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Leave a comment with what you think we might see in the Nintendo Direct Mini tomorrow. Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, a new Nintendo Direct Mini has been revealed for tomorrow. It's a partner showcase. Uh, Nintendo of America tweeted out saying a new hashtag Nintendo Direct Mini partner showcase is on the way. Watch on demand via our YouTube channel beginning Tuesday, June the 28th at 6 a.m. PT for roughly 25 minutes of information on upcoming third party Nintendo Switch games. So, of course, third party means that there's not going to be anything Pokemon related in this, Breath of the Wild related in this, Splatoon related in this, Mario stuff. This is just for third party games, which is quite interesting because a lot of people thought we were going to get a big Nintendo Direct on Wednesday, which, of course, could have featured some Pokemon stuff, could have had a Nintendo Treehouse and stuff like that. But the fact they've done a Nintendo Direct Mini means that we might be getting another Nintendo Direct in July where that's going to showcase all of uh, the latest information on the first party games like your Marios, your Pokemons, uh, Splatoons and everything like that. So there is a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, but it ain't going to have anything about Pokemon, which is unfortunate. This was the rumor that popped up over the weekend about this Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, this was taken from VGC uh, Video Games Chronicles saying the next Nintendo Direct will focus on third party games, it's claimed. Uh, so that's according to experienced journalist Nacho, editor of the Spanish Games Magazine Manual, who told viewers during a Twitch stream on Friday that he'd been told to expect new announcements from major publishers. We should have a Nintendo Direct this coming Tuesday. Uh, they said during the live stream translated by VGC, this will be mainly focused on third party games. That's what I've been told to expect. Of course, this has uh, come to be true. You know, we are getting this Nintendo Direct Mini tomorrow. Uh, so this is what we can really expect to see from it. So I've been, so they say, I've also been told that some Persona games will be present, though I don't know which game they added. I've also been told there will be another game that has been available for some time on other platforms. It's been available for four years now. So a game that's been available on other platforms will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, we don't know what that is. Uh, and then the four-year-old port claim uh, would fit with the previous claim that Rockstar was planning to bring Red Dead Redemption 2 released in 2018 to the Switch. So it could be Red Dead 2 coming to the Switch. Another games uh, writer first claimed earlier this month that a Nintendo Direct is set to taste play text take place this week, which VGC's own sources corroborated at the time. Nintendo first introduced Nintendo Direct Mini uh, Partner Showcase presentations during the pandemic, featuring content entirely from its development and publishing partners. Um, so yeah, then it just go, kind of goes on to talk about like the last Nintendo Direct and stuff like that. Um, but either way, that is uh, what's going to be happening tomorrow. So expect some Persona stuff in it uh, and also maybe Red Dead 2. Uh, what's interesting about this though, this is taken from Nintendo Everything. Uh, these are basically all the times of the Nintendo Direct. Uh, so the new Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase will air tomorrow, June the 28th. Nintendo has announced the presentation will cover about 25 minutes of upcoming third-party games for the Switch. It will air at the following time, so 6 a.m. PT, 9 a.m. ET, 2 p.m. in the UK, and then 3 p.m. in Europe. I will be streaming this. Uh, of course, I'm not expecting anything Pokemon-related in this um, at all, because it is just from third-party developers. But I will still stream it, uh, and we'll still do like the bingo and everything like that if you want to come and watch. Uh, as a reminder, since this is a Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, first party games are pretty much off the table. That means you shouldn't expect to see the likes of Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2, Splatoon 3, or of course anything Pokemon. Keep in mind the presentation will be available on demand via Nintendo's YouTube channel. There's no plans for a live stream, so it's just going to be available, it's just going to be uploaded. Uh, um, at these times on the YouTube channel. It's not going to be like a, a live stream like there usually is. So again, we, we can still watch it. We'll just obviously watch it when it goes live. But yeah, there's not actually going to be a, a live stream. It's just going to be uploaded to the to the channel. So what does this mean for Pokemon, Scarlet Violet, news trailers, all that stuff? So obviously this was tweeted out uh, last week by Soul Silver on the 20th saying, hoping this is fake, uh, referring to obviously the Nintendo Direct Mini rumor uh, because it puts a huge hole in our Pokemon trailer for next week theory. Hey, worst comes to worst, I'm confident we'll get another trailer in July, probably the first or the second week. I'm not a fan of the Pokemon Company's uh, promotional cycles as of late, to put it mildly. 
And then we have right Yoridan saying, I really wouldn't worry about it if it's true. We're due for a welcome to the X region trailer that's better saved for a Pokemon Presents than being shoved into a Nintendo Direct. I think it'd be too informative on region specific things to be promoting to a general audience. Yeah, that's true. I could still see it this week regardless, but a Pokemon trailer instead of in the Direct, which was already iffy. I don't know if it will be a Presents though with the amount of information they could share is still possible. A full-blown Pokemon Presents may also depend on how many updates and new projects they've got to announce, but definitely something coming soon. Surely they wouldn't be so dumb as to do a badly timed region countdown in the middle of a new cycle when we still don't know the region yet. Yeah, I agree. I wonder though, uh, like I know there are big things in this game, so when they're going to share those things, it just can't be past September in my opinion. So yeah, this was obviously just talking about the rumoured Nintendo Direct Mini, but of course it has now been confirmed. And Soul Silver Art saying, dang, they really messed up. This doesn't count Pokemon out, but it does put some doubt on, like, basically just Pokemon news this week. Uh, they can always drop a trailer at any time, or even just reveal the region name from that countdown. But if not, as I've said, it's still probably coming very soon. So obviously the region countdown that they're referring to is how they've just been doing, you know, Welcome to Kanto, Welcome to Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh. They've just been doing that for weeks, and we were expecting news this week because... The, the last region name thing that we got was Welcome to Galar, which was Generation 8. So we thought that, you know, this alleged Nintendo Direct that was supposed to be happening on Wednesday, the 29th, uh, would line up with this whole Welcome to Region thing. So that would be a little bit more information in that Nintendo Direct for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. However, though, because there's now a Nintendo Direct Mini tomorrow, there's not going to be a Nintendo Direct on Wednesday um, because they're not going to do a Mini and then the day after do an absolute full-blown Nintendo Direct. It's just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, what does that mean for, for Pokemon and stuff like that? Well, uh, Kelios actually tweeted this out saying, uh, on the other hand, it's weird that it's tomorrow, meaning obviously Tuesday. Maybe Pokemon news on Wednesday, it would avoid being in conflict. So there is still potentially going to be some Pokemon news this week on the Wednesday. And I'm pretty sure they've been dropping those regions name things on Tuesdays and Thursdays so could easily be information on Wednesday or Thursday for Pokemon um, but again right after the Nintendo Direct Mini I'm not too sure so I'm thinking more Thursday for news but again We'll have to wait and see. It's just We have to kind of wait and see what the region thing happens. However, though, this could easily happen as well. Uh, not what if we get Hisui in that countdown thing. So if we did get a welcome to Hisui region after the, Gal the, the Galar one, it means that the, the Gen 9 region one would actually be next week instead, and the Hisui will be this week. So we have to keep our eyes out for that. Also, something to note as well is that Lumia's post tweeted this out saying, should note that while it didn't reveal much, the Isle of Armor DLC was shown off in the direct mini of Spring 2020. And as you can see, this is the Spring 2020 mini direct. Uh, and as you can clearly see, there is Isle of Armor gameplay in it. So um, I, I don't know if this one was just third party, though. I think this was just a mini. I'm not really too sure. Like if we go to the actual uh, YouTube video uh, and we scroll down, it actually says... Um, it says 25 minutes of news on a selection of Nintendo Switch games coming this year. So it doesn't say anything on like third party games. It just says coming this year. So whilst there was Pokemon news in a Nintendo Direct Mini in the past, that one didn't specify it was just for third party games. So again, I, I, I highly doubt we're going to see anything Pokemon related in this Nintendo Direct Mini. And I don't think I'd want to see anything in this either for Pokemon. I Because I, I think if there was going to be anything, it'd be very, very minuscule. I'd rather like a big trailer showcasing a bunch of new things and stuff. Um, this also was dropped as well. This was a tweet by Junichi Masuda, um, who again also always kind of hints and stuff, uh, new information and stuff. And here he is talking about like uh, the weather and stuff, I think. And uh, Soul Silver Art quote retweeting this saying, let's do our best on the last week of June, especially the 29th. So yeah, he says, good morning, everyone. It's going to be very hot in Tokyo this week. Let's take measures against heat stroke with water and salt. Let's do our best in the last week of June. Um, so he always says like let's do our best and stuff when there usually is like new Pokemon information So again, I, I don't know whether to take this into account or not You know, it, it could easily be any point this week, but bloody hell it is very hot in Tokyo this week um, So yeah, that's kind of the latest information on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, Nintendo Direct Mini tomorrow uh, Again, we will be live streaming it here on this channel but no Pokemon information in it But I wouldn't cross Pokemon information definitely being off the table this week um, or next week. I think we we could potentially be seeing something. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but anyway, that's all the latest information about that. We have some rumors to go over here as well. This popped up today. This was tweeted out by Blaze Incineroar. Looks like an Ultra Beast. Does anyone know how to translate this 4chan rumor? So yeah, just something that popped up on 4chan. I think this really just looks like a variant for Hydreigon, to be fair. Like, I feel like it is literally just a Hydreigon variant or like a T-Rex 
Um, I don't know, maybe this could be like one of those regional fake mons that obviously has been making the rounds and stuff, you know, that whole regional fake thing. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's true. It's probably just somebody stealing some Instagram users' art and then just posting it on, uh, on 4chan as, a, as an alleged leak. So you always have to take these things with a massive grain of salt. I love the design. I think this could be really cool as a Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is um, true, unfortunately. So let's go over the final rumor of the day that this was posted on 4chan as well. Scarlet and Violet information by Smargle. And they say the region's name is Bizarre and Tiena. So yeah, the region being split into two different names, I feel like could be a possibility just simply because they haven't revealed the region name for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet yet. And I think that, you know, there might be a reason for that. And it might be because it has a lot of information behind it, like being split into two. Though it's officially called Basar, a lot of the conflict in the game comes from a group, a group trying to restore the history of Basar or Bysar, however you say it. Hence them trying to bring back the region's ancient name, Tiena. These are not the evil team. So the Pokemon that will be announced in the next trailer are Pazusa, which is a flying poison type, a small, cute jellyfish that almost swims in the air. Well, it doesn't swim, then it flies, surely. <laughs> they come in different colors and fly through the Basar skies. We have Tugatoga, which is a dark rock type, uh, which is a little black tortoise with a Greek aesthetic and a really smug slash posh personality. And then we also have Basarian Scraggy and Scrafty, which are fire fighting types. We have Basarian Ariados, which is a fairy bug type. And then we have Landrill, which is fighting ground, and it's a primate evolution. So Landrill being a primate evolution. That's an interesting one. And a spinal, a spinal village is integral to the story and will also be shown off in the latest trailer as well as the psychic type gym le leader, Andrea. Professor Sarda and Professor Turo are siblings in Pokemon Skylet. Skylet? Scarlet. You are helping Professor Sarda find her missing brother and in Pokemon Violet it's the opposite. I don't, I mean, that'd be kind of crazy. Um, you know, if they were siblings and you know, one of them did an experiment and they ended up either in the future or the past. And then you're trying to find them or something like that. It could actually be a thing. And there's two new Ultra Beasts as well. So that's this rumor. Again, you know when they're saying like, I don't know. I just feel like if they know so much information about the next trailer, they would also know the date of the trailer. When they just say it's going to be announced in the next trailer. If, they've, if they know what's going to be in the next trailer, they surely should know when the next trailer is going to drop. You know, it just kind of makes sense to me. But either way, uh, I don't think this is true. But uh, again, each to their own. What do you think about it? I don't think this is true either. It looks incredible, but I think someone's just probably robbed this. But yeah, that's going to be everything for today's video. Like I say, just a recap. Nintendo Direct Mini tomorrow will be live streaming on this channel. Probably go live like an hour before it. Uh, we'll do bingo and everything. But yeah, not to expect anything first party related like Pokemon, Breath of the Wild, anything like that. Um, but there will be um, Persona stuff potentially. And then a, a game that's appeared on other consoles. Most likely going to be Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and then also, like I say not completely out of the dark that we're going to see pokemon stuff this week as well could definitely happen like i said kilios isn't a leaker he's an insider very respected insider uh, and even they're saying you know it's weird that it's tomorrow maybe pokemon news on wednesday and stuff so you know not all lost but it's not looking great we'll have to wait and see though either way that's everything from me thank you for watching if you did enjoy drop a like let's try it at 500 like I say, leave a comment about everything that we uh, that we went over today. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. Hopefully see you in tomorrow's Nintendo Direct Mini live stream. But if not, hope something gets announced that you do uh, look forward to. But anyway, it's everything from us. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.